Right, hello YouTubers. <clears throat> Today I'm going to show you how to make a fully automated Windows installer. You can either use it from a DVD or a USB stick. Um, I'm going to show you how to put it on a USB stick, but for a DVD it's the same process. You just burn the ISO that you finish with to a disc. Right, first of all, right, you're going to need a copy of Windows Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, doesn't really matter. Um, all the process is the same for them all. Right, so, and you're gonna need a blank USB stick, eight gig or more. I don't think it'll fit on a four gig. So eight gig or more should do the job. Um, <clears throat> first of all, we're gonna create a folder on the desktop. Create a new folder. I'm gonna call it Win 10 because this is a Windows 10 version. So we're gonna open the folder, and we're gonna open the, the DVD with the images on. We're gonna select all, that's Control A, and drag them to the folder we created. I'm gonna copy them across. I'll speed this up because it will take a while. Okay, <clears throat> so now we've copied the uh, files to the folder. The reason we've copied the files from the DVD to the folder is because the folder, the DVD, is not writable. The system can't write to the disk. So we need it in a folder where it's writable for the system. So we close these windows now. So next thing you want to go to the internet and download a program called NT Lite. I'll put the link in the description. So we want to open NT Lite after you've installed it, obviously. And you'll get this screen. You'll probably get a message. Just click yes or free version. And then we want to open the image directory that we just created desktop win 10 select folder and as you can see it's got windows 10 installations right we're going to double click the windows 10 pro because that's what we're making a 64-bit version and um, let that load i'll speed this process up because this will take some time okay so that process has loaded the, um, the image and as you can see we've got this menu on the left hand side right, so if you click on the components you can add and remove different components from the installation features you can add and remove the features like um, so if you wanted a telnet service client Sorry, uh, Telnet. We can add that to the uh, installation. Settings we don't really need to worry about. These are just default. Leave them as default. Services, you can turn them on and off. Extra services. Updates. We've just got a language pack. You can add drivers to the installation. So if you wanted to add a driver for your computer, you could just click on add. Go to the, um, the folder where the installation files are and click select folder and it should find the uh, drivers in that folder and add them to the installation. Right now we want to go to unattended. Right, so this is where we're going to make the unattended completely automated install. We enable it. Right, and now we're going to change the input local to uh, United Kingdom, use the arrow keys up and down to change the value. System local, change that to English. I'm going to use GB. UI language and 
we're going to change this one to GB as well. Okay, the time zone. We're going to change the time zone so it's your time zone. My time zone's obviously UTC zero. OEM information, you can put a logo, manufacturer, whatever in there. I'll just leave it blank standard. I'm going to skip the Euda page. Skip the local account setup. Skip the online account setup. Skip the wireless setup. Network location, we're going to set it to home. I'm going to skip that. Skip the Windows Welcome. Skip the Windows Welcome Center. Right. I'm going to skip auto activation. <coughs> Computer name, we're going to call it user dash PC. Uh, copy profile, we're just going to leave it blank. Product key, right, you're going to need your product key for this automated install. I've got product key here on the desktop. So we're going to select the product key, copy it. Go back to here. Paste the product key in. Registered owner, organization, sorry. I'm going to put none. Registered owner. I'm going to put user. Right, and now the PE settings we're going to put. Same again. United Kingdom is above. System local. I'm going to put GB. My language GB user local same again okay UI language GB right, scroll down send report to Microsoft we're going to put that as false enable dynamic update we're going to put false we don't want to enable this because it will compress so we're going to put false for that right. skip EULA page true I'm going to enter the product key again there right so that's the automated settings right now we need to add a local account so we need to come up to the top here and add a local account click the add their local account make it an auto login group of administrators i'm going to call the user user display name user and we're not going to enter a password click ok so that creates an account right and now once you've done that you need to apply the settings so click apply and you'll go to this screen right. we're going to remove the non-essential editions of the windows so obviously it doesn't select what you need it selects what you don't need the image format we're going to leave it as WIM that's a windows image format probably stands for Windows Image Media but if you look up on the internet it'll say Windows Image Format um, leave that standard we're going to create an ISO I'm going to tell it the ISO is going to be on the desktop I'm going to call it Win 10 64 bit okay it's going to ask for a name for the ISO. 
Same again. Win 10. 64 bit. Okay. So that's a great ISO. Now, once you've done that, you're going to process it. So you click the green process button and it's going to start processing. Um, it's great and it's, sa it's saving the image now I'll speed this up because this will take some time okay so now it's saved the um, <clears throat> changes to the image it's going to remove the non-essential installations that we don't need. I'll speed this back up because this will take some time as well. Okay, so now it's removed the non-essentials. It's going to uh, optimize the image for the ISO. I'll speed this back up because this will probably take a while. Okay, so now it's um, <clears throat> optimized the image and backed up the presets on the source. It's exporting the ISO. I'll speed this back up because this will take some time as well. Okay, so now it's done. Um, we've created the ISO. We can exit NT Light, and you'll end up with a, an ISO on your desktop. Um, you can burn this ISO to a DVD uh, for, for an automated install from a DVD but I'm going to show you how to do it from a USB stick. So next thing you want to do is go to the internet and download Rufus. Um, I'll put the link in the description. So you need to open Rufus. So it's found the USB stick, 16 gig. Now we're going to select the image that we've just created on the desktop. Okay. All right. We're going to change the partition type to master boot record BIOS so it works on any computer. Volume name, NT, and that's it. We're going to start the process. It's going to tell you that um, it's going to erase your USB stick, press OK. And now it's going to go through the process. I'll speed this up because this will take some time. OK, <clears throat> so once that process is completed, you can close Rufus. And what you end up with is a USB stick with Windows 10 fully automated installer so that's what you end up with um, I'll come back and I'll set up a, um, a VMware blank installation so I can show you how it installs okay so we'll be right back okay so we're back I've set up a, a blank VMware like um, before you start you'll need to go into your BIOS and set the um, USB stick or the DVD ROM <clears throat> to boot from it or if you've got a boot menu option right, you can s select it from there to boot from the DVD or the USB mine's going to boot from the USB anyway because the, the, um, the hard disk is blank so it's got nothing on the hard disk so it was boot straight from it so let's start the uh, installation and I'll show you how it goes okay so once the setup started you're gonna have to select the hard disk that you want to install it on that's the only thing you probably have to do so uh, we'll click next because we've only got the one hard disk 
and we'll let it install and I'll speed this up so you can see what happens. Okay, so now it's going to reboot. You don't need to do anything. It'll just automatically reboot. But if your computer is set to boot from the USB or the DVD still in front of the hard drive, you'll need to go in the BIOS and change it back so it boots from the hard disk. So it's just setting up now the uh, account. Okay, so there you have it. It's installed automatically. And um, it's opened the browser for some reason. It's not got the drivers installed for this, so that's probably why it's um, the wrong display setting. Um, oh, we can change it. So there you go, fully automated install of Windows 7, Windows 10 sorry, um, and that's it, so so if you like the tutorial, um, please leave a, a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you like the music in this tutorial in the background, um, check out my channel. And if you go to uh, original songs, uh, the music in this tutorial is there. It was all created by myself. So I'll catch you next time.